Today I'm going to be reviewing this large Bluetooth speaker. It has wheels and a handle to keep it portable so that you can bring it around with you. So when you open up the box, you can see that the main unit is here covered in plastic. Pull that out. And then underneath the styrofoam, there's extra components. As you can see, the microphones, cables, etc. It's all down there. First off, I'd like to point out these two microphones. These two stands will hold your microphone securely in case you need to prop them up in the middle of the use. It also comes with a USB to USB-C uh, adapter cable, um, a wireless remote so that you're able to control all the different settings of your speaker without being right next to it. Um, obviously your power cable for when you need to charge the speaker, a user manual. These are two adapters that allow either a iPhone or an Android phone to connect via USB to the speaker. And some, it comes with some extra double A's and triple A batteries, as well as a pair of earbuds. My favorite thing about this Bluetooth speaker is that it's truly portable. When you want to raise the handle and take it with you on the streets or whether you're going to a concert or what have you, you can also attach these microphones seamlessly to it. Now I'd like to show you the true capability of the speaker. To power up the device, simply press the power button in the upper left. Soon you'll see all these LED indicators starting to light Live. up. Live. Um, I currently have it set to the live setting. However, if you want to change it to Bluetooth, you just press this B button. Um, Bluetooth. Which automatically sends it into pairing mode, um, which you're able to find and locate with your device. Um, and then all you have to do is start playing any sort of audio and it'll come directly from the speaker. When it comes to this in out super bass button, this stands for inside, outside, and super bass. So if you're wanting to play music or any sort of audio inside, you'll tap this in. once. It'll set it to inside. Um, so that the bass and the levels aren't too um, disturbing for your neighbors. Um, but if you have no care in the world and you're outside and you really want to jam... Super bass. You can switch it to super bass, which allows, obviously, the bass to be much more heavy and impactful. Um, however, if you're outside and you don't want too much bass... Out. It still has higher levels, but it has less bass. There's also this effect button that will toggle different presets when using the device. Original, pop, professional, yelling. So that way it can have the proper levels for when you're using the device for different purposes. Um, this is a pitch button, which female voice obviously will um, change the levels depending on the pitch that's being used by the microphones. Male voice, girlish, robot. Original. So yeah, there's different uh, presets there as well. If you want to skip a song, of course, you can skip ahead, skip back, return to a previous song, or start over the current one. And then there's pause and play. This is the volume and mute button. Mutes it, turns it back on. If you're playing a song with lyrics and you'd prefer to just have um, the music, you can press this button and it'll do its best to filter out any lyrics or vocals. So that way you can use the um, capability for karaoke and things like that. This button labeled loop back will turn on and off any background music playing. However, it doesn't work if you have a computer or a laptop plugged into the device. The side chain button will help you prioritize the use of the microphones. So if you happen to be playing any sort of music out of the speaker and you'd like to start speaking through the microphone, as soon as you begin to do so, it'll mute any background music behind the microphone. And then the second you stop using the microphone, the music will return. Obviously these are just volume knobs for music or for the microphone input volume as well. So if you have someone that's not speaking loud enough, you can turn up their volume. These will control your highs or your treble volume, where this, this controls your bass and the lows. Um, this is your recording volume, so if you happen to be using the USB-C port in order to record audio, you'll just want to um, control the volume with this knob here. This is to control your monitor volume. It adjusts, it's adjustable when you're using a headset microphone. Um, this is your echo, so obviously it's like your reverberation effect when you're using it, it'll create more or less echo depending on where you have it toggled to. And then this is for either a guitar or any electric instrument you may have plugged into these patch cord ports up here. On the top row you can see that we have the power button, which obviously just toggles power. 
We also have the port where you're able to charge the Bluetooth speaker in case it runs out. Um, this button controls the LED indicators on the um, speaker. I just pressed it once and it turned off the LEDs on the front. If I press it again, it'll turn them back on. So it's just up to you and your preferences on that. This is your line in and line out. Depending on if you're using a headset microphone, you can use it to record audio through this port and then you listen through this port, of course. This is just an aux cable, an auxiliary cable, in case you'd like to plug your phone in um, and play music through it manually instead of through Bluetooth. This is a USB-C, which allows you to connect different devices to the speaker, um, like if you wanna use your laptop or your iPad, and you can prop it up in the slot here and then plug it directly into the USB.